<laughs> in New Brunswick, there's only three reasons anyone would be out driving in a blizzard like this. One, you're driving home to lock yourself inside. Two, you're crazy. And three, you're going somewhere truly epic. Well, we aren't headed home. And even though it does indeed seem like we're crazy to be driving out in a blizzard like this, we are in fact headed somewhere truly epic. I just hope we make it. Okay, we're we're just on the ferry now and we're we're in a we're in a blizzard. You guys can see that. The cars in front they can't get up the uh, it's kinda hard to explain. They they can't get up the ramp to exit the ferry. I'm definitely concerned about our car because we already couldn't get up a, a hill today. They're all backing up so that they can get a running start. So that guy should have no problem. The truck. There he goes. Oh yeah, running start. Ba bam. He made it? No, see this car here, the Kia? Yeah. He can get up. Here we go guys. So he's gonna try again, <laughs> I guess. What's he doing? Ooh, this is gonna be a Accelerate. Come on, baby. Go. Okay. That should get us there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, we made it. Gear up. <laughs> we barely made it. As you guys can see, the eagle has landed. We made it. it it's a blizzard. The first blizzard of the year here in, uh, in New Brunswick. It is, it is, look at this. How sick is this? Can you guys see that? Ah, oh, so awesome. Wait, stop. Okay, so here at La Belle Cabin, there's actually five cabins. We are just walking up to ours, but this is the first one. You guys can see it. See the brownish color right about there? It's off the beaten path, so there is privacy, guys. We can't see in there. We just see that there's a structure. So when you come here, you will totally be off-grid in all senses. Sometimes that is, that's just a welcome thing. We are in a little bit of a hike. We are carrying all our bags. That's why my heart is like, ah, 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 ah. But we're super excited to get up and see what we're getting ourselves into. Come on, let's go. Yes, we made it. And the views from the other way. Normally, you'd be able to see right out over. We're on a hill right now, so you can just see ah, all of the lands, all of the lands, all of the places. Oh, the fire is already on. Oh, can't wait. Welcome, welcome everyone to La Belle Cabin. La Belle Cabin is a self described off-grid eco glamping experience in a cozy cabin this is actually one of five on a 40 acre parcel of land on the beautiful kingston peninsula right here right here in new brunswick this 108 square foot cabin is complete with a seven foot tall bonus loft that's some extra space above a double bed cozy blankets wood stove outdoor cooking kit where you do all your cooking la belle cabin is totally totally off-grid for those who don't know what that means no wi-fi no plumbing no showers no electricity no fridge and yeah you may or may not have cell phone service okay, so first thoughts what are what are you thinking oh it's so beautiful in here and it's very warm like i'm actually thinking about taking my sweater off right yeah now. same which is a good thing that's yes. good because we were like oh, is it gonna be warm enough it's definitely warm enough. Um, no, it's beautiful. I love all the little details and they've made use of the space really well, I mm -hmm. think too. Um, everything has its spot because it's a small space in here, but it seems like at first glance, there's a spot for everything and they've kind of thought of all the little things to offer. Yeah, I totally agree with Jess. It is toasty warm in here which you guys know we love the wood burning fire like that is just oh, in the winter it's 
you guys should actually see the view uh, that I'm looking at right now as I record this. Yeah, as you can see, totally epic views everywhere. Even, you know, not, not only just from here, but the hike up. The hike is, I don't know, what would you say, Jess? What did that take us, like five, six minutes to get up here? I don't know, mm, something yeah. like that, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. I feel like that's long, 10 minutes. There's no way it took us 10 minutes. It's nothing too strenuous. You know, any person who's in moderately good shape can, uh, can make it. Uh, in one piece, basically. I'm sure the snow, the deep snow and the blizzard maybe uh, added a few minutes to our, our hike for sure. But yeah, as as Jess was saying, they, they've just really thought of everything. There's so many little details where you, you just look, you're just like, I see you. I see what you did there and that is dope. I, I'm actually really looking forward to how the space feels over the next two days. There's a light that's gonna be turning on. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I turned that on. Uh, I turned that on. There's I, a boat. Like, that's uh, on 100%. But it's solar, so I don't know if that... I think it's gonna get brighter, maybe. Yeah. I'm taking this off. That hot, eh? Yeah. Heat rises. Yeah. Okay, let's check this out up here. Climbing the ladder. How do you... Oh, there we go. Nice. Ooh, the sheets feel nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we did get in sort of late because the snow, it's a blizzard. It is like a legit blizzard out there. I don't even know how we made it here in the Jetta. God bless the Jetta. Thank you, sweet Lord. We are running out of light. They did. This is so epic by them. LaBelle, Kevin, we love you guys. They left a gift basket for us as soon as you walk in. I'm going to show you guys what's... Well, Jess is going to show you guys what's inside. Okay, so they left a cute little um, personalized card to us. Okay, so first up we have this Bannock bread mix. So this is the mix to make Bannock bread, a kind of bread that you cook over the fire. So you wrap the dough around a stick and then you cook it over the hot fire. Uh, next is this cute little candle that, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Tasha, our host here at La Belle Caban, she made these candles. Mm -hmm. um, she made these candles and they smell like lavender and they have a cute little wooden wick in there. Um, a gingerbread cookie, which is from a local business, we will name it coffee from also another local company, mm -hmm. popcorn. Um, I think there's a little contraption available for us that we can make some popcorn um, out on the grill outside. So we will probably do that at some point. Local soap, which um, yeah, also from a company around here. And last but not least, some chocolate. Okay guys, been here for a couple hours, maybe more. Um, it's dark, it's pitch black outside, but going for the first pee break, I can hear the wind against the trees and it's, it's, this should be interesting. That's really, really loud in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How was it? Trying to get the snow off my boots. So. Was it cold? No, not bad. Like the whole experience is fine. Mm -hmm. So first night, how <laughs> how did you sleep? Good. Slept great. Um, you asked me if I was cold. I wasn't that cold. Like. Maybe once I got a little chilly, but the bed up there is super comfortable and there's lots of blankets and it's just super cozy and they have flannel sheets on the bed. So the view, waking up to the sun on the trees out there this morning was oh, so beautiful. A bell caban really offers its guests a chance to unplug from the regular life, day-to-day -day routines we all have. When you're not tending to the fire, you can find books and other activities neatly tucked away in storage compartments in the ceiling. The ladder leading up to the loft offers easy access to escape for some alone time with your favorite book, or maybe even an afternoon siesta if you're like me. But if you fancy yourself on getting out and exploring the forest, you can rent some snowshoes to help you navigate the snowy trails, if you're visiting during winter that is.
So, is there like a technique involved? Or? I can't get every corner we turn. I'm like, wow, so beautiful. The way the sun is coming in and. You guys see him in there? I don't know if, if you guys saw him. I don't really have a, a zoom lens, but hear that? It's a woodpecker up on the tree. We can see him. I don't know if you guys are able to, but yeah, pretty cool. You can, it's so quiet out here. You can hear literally every single noise. You could probably hear a pin drop. Okay, that was a successful hike. Uh, we didn't get lost, we made it back safely. Went inside for a little bit just to thaw off, but we're gonna start to cook lunch now. At the cabins, each cabin has a BioLite fire pit. It's fire pit slash barbecue. It's kind of right in between. You can have bonfires on it, but also you can cook. It's like a contained contraption. I'm gonna show you guys. I think I got it. Okay, just prepped the bannock. Am I saying that right, bannock? Bannock, yeah. Bannock, okay, I got it. You guys know me, I'm always messing up the words. It's just, it's just who I am, okay? Yeah, we're gonna cook the bannock. We're gonna try to get it around the stick. I think that's like the ideal way to do it. We might have to pivot, I don't know, we'll see. This is all new to us, so we're figuring it out as we go. Yeah, it, the dough's a bit sticky. Um, I think I may have added just like a titch too much water. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Okay, so it looks like you're doing pretty good there. Yeah. I'm surprised. pleasantly surprised. So then you just like roast it like a marshmallow. Okay, I think we figured it out. I don't know what Jess is doing, but I figured my. Because <laughs> I told you how to do it. Yeah, I have mine kind of just placed there like a fishing line. An old pastime. Don't do that anymore. Yeah, it's so far so good. I don't really know when it when it's gonna be done, but <laughs> this is gross. I'm like using my mitt, but let's <laughs> 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 gonna eat this. <laughs> this is glamorous camping, guys. <laughs> Okay, can you see? Can you focus. That one is uh, is pretty flawless. That's what you want to go for. What do you guys think, though? Could you uh, see yourselves out here cooking in the uh, in the dead of winter? I mean, it is pretty magical. It's super dope out here. It's it's yeah. It's like minus six today, but it's not. It doesn't feel that cold because we are kind of like right by the fire. We're in and out of the cabin quite a bit. It's toasty in there. The fire going, so it's not too too bad. You are out in the elements, but. Again, that is all part of the experience. If you're coming out to a place like this, you kind of know what you're getting yourself in for. How is it? How did I do? One, this one's the best one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. This trip has made me want our own piece of land so much more than I already did. Mm -hmm. Anyone in New Brunswick selling land? Yeah. We just need, I don't know, like, 10 acres would just be great. Yeah. 10. Okay, just uh, just wrapping up here. It was a good trip. It was an amazing trip. Really ticked all those boxes. We got to connect with nature. We got to experience something that we hadn't before, winter camping. That was something that, that's been on my bucket list. Would you guys consider this camping? I mean, there, it was no frills. There's no running water. There's an outdoor toilet. You go outside to do your cooking. But on the flip side, La Belle Cabin did such a great job of balancing that type of bare bones camping feel. But with that sort of glamorous, luxury, glamping type of vibe, like, you guys saw the inside, it's super nice in here and it's very comfortable, especially with the wood fire. I had such a great weekend here at La Belle Cabin. I just can't get over what they've done here. I get what they're trying to do and I get what they've done. Like I can appreciate 
the, um, the value that they've added to everyone that comes through here. And not only have they, um, will they enrich the lives of everyone that stays here, but they've done this for themselves too. And I'm so um, inspired by that because this isn't just an Airbnb, it's a way of life. And I see that, like I see what they're doing here. I know how much work it took to do this. I'm so grateful that they put in the work. I'm so grateful that they're giving back to their community by offering such an oasis and a place to truly appreciate um, the land and everything that it has to offer. So yeah, very, very inspired. Huge shout out to La Belle Caben for having us this weekend and putting us up in your cabins in the wood. Lots to be grateful for. If you guys made it to this point in the video, as always, we love you guys. You guys who watch till the end, we love you. Thank you so much for that. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hitting that like button always helps us out. And yeah, I think that's about it. We will see you in the next video. Peace.